What's happening Beard Army? Welcome back to the Chronicles of Beard or if this is your first time watching you're not really sure what the Chronicles of Beard is it's a little bit different from my main series where I'm normally just eating a bunch of food at my dining table or something like that uh, it's kind of like more vlog style in content I'm usually doing like a restaurant eating challenge showing a little bit of my life, stuff like that uh, so if you're into that kind of thing, then think about subscribing and whether you subscribed or not, make sure you click on that little bell icon next to the subscribe button just to make sure you don't miss one single bite. Anyway, today, love is in the air, Valentine's Day is right around the corner and of course today I'm going to be spending this episode with my one true love. Jokes! Of course I meant food, you thought I meant Lindsay, you guys. So today I'm back at Burgers and More in Harrogate, which is in North Yorkshire, not like West Yorkshire, that's what I said last time. Um, and last year uh, I came here and if you watch my channel, you might remember that I said this was my favourite restaurant eating challenge of 2017. That challenge is called the Twin Peaks Challenge. Um, I'm the only person that's ever done that. Uh, a couple of people have tried and failed, but um, there's a new menu. Uh, so I'm back today to take on this ginormous Stratosphere Burger, which has got a couple of new additions in it. Um, and you know what I'm like, you know, I'm pretty hungry today. So I've also got a starter of nachos, uh, a sundae. We might even go for a second dessert. I'm not sure yet, but we'll no, see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, right? So this is the only day I need. But if you want to make it down to Burgers and More uh, in Arrogate, they're doing a special promo where you get a free bottle of wine for tables of four or more. They're calling it No Red Rose Day because this is in Yorkshire. Nobody likes Lancashire. <laughs> anyway, come down and try it. Seriously, the menu is amazing. A lot of crazy burgers on there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and, and get stuck into them. Starting on the uh, 38 second mark here, but I'm gonna get stuck into it. The first burger here looks delicious. This is the Elvis burger, right? Oost! What's happening, Beard Army? Welcome back to the Chronicles of Beard, episode number 51. Man, I can't believe that's almost a year's worth of these videos. I'm definitely not going to rush this one. <laughs> it tastes too good. You like peanut butter? I would not have peanut butter if I could. <laughs> I eat it out of the jar. Do you like peanut butter? Does this guy even know me? What a ridiculous question. I think I would brush my teeth with peanut butter if it had any antibacterial properties. So this one is the Jack the Lab Burger. Which, what does this have on it again? Jack, it's a Jack Daniels and Coca-Cola glaze that we've created, that we've run through the pork burger, topped with mozzarella, bacon strips, and a side of Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. Yeah, and this patty was delicious. A uh, pork patty, which was a little different, so maybe a little uh, a little tougher, but that Jack Daniels taste, I love that in food. Very sweet and uh, salty as well. Ultimate cheeseburger. What is it that makes it ultimate? Wow, that was sarcastic. Uh, turns out what makes it ultimate is it's got like four or five different cheeses in it. So second, second half. <laughs> and yeah, this was the second half. Uh, slightly bigger than the other patties because there's cheese in the middle. This one I think is called the mess. Yeah. Which is pretty messy, I won't lie, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Yeah, and this one uh, was called The Mess. Obviously, it's kind of like a sloppy joe with chili, which was pretty spicy on there. But yeah, not just a catchy name. It, it was pretty, pretty messy. It's still pretty spicy. It's got a kick to it. <coughs> Come on, don't be soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is your happy. What is, is they, they're good burgers. I wasn't about to. <laughs> no, I, I would, is good. I, I would have slowed yeah, down, but they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I <I'm> talking. <laughs> yeah. So this is a veggie, uh, the veggie one, which is called Happy. It's spot everywhere. 
but spelled H-A-P-P-E-A. Like Pete. Chickpea. But it's delicious. It's made of chickpeas. Yeah, and this was the final uh, party of the five that you get to choose, which was a veggie pie, like I say, made from chickpeas. Really herby and, and surprisingly crunchy. It was pretty good. You could say that, yeah? Fries and custard. <laughs> That's coming next. I remember from last time, the combination of fries and custard, which I thought was really weird. <coughs> but it's not weird, it's really nice. Yeah, I remember this from last time. The fries with custard is kind of like the signature side dish. Uh, but it's kind of like just putting fries in a milkshake or ice cream like I do all the time, only it's warm, so it's kind of nicer. Better than custard? Yeah. No way. <laughs> a custard and chip sandwich? Yeah, awesome. Just because it tastes good. Bit of yeah, just finishing up the bread here. Which again was really nice, crusty. Um, but yeah, I like my bread crusty. You should always start with the salad because you never want to eat it after you've eaten oh, no. really, really nice burgers and stuff. No <laughs> sure, like. You're just like, oh, salad. Yeah, I'll chalk that up to another complete statement of the obvious, but uh, salad, needless to say, is pretty boring after you've eaten a bunch of burgers. I got some nachos too because uh, they're new on the menu. I wanted to try them. They're covered in like this pink cheese, which I think is Gouda. Um, and you can see I got a kid sundae on there, which I think was kind of a joke. <laughs> but uh, I knew the burger wouldn't be quite enough to fill me up today. The nachos were delicious though, I mean, nachos are nachos. Ah. So the cheese is pink. Yeah. I've never seen pink cheese before. Right, it's absolutely stunning. You don't have to finish the layer. It's worth I think I could just about manage that. <laughs> you managed that, it's not too much for you. It's like you're not pushing you over the edge. <laughs> Ice cream I think this is their idea of a joke, giving me a child's ice cream, but <laughs> a child's unicorn sundae. Yeah, the unicorn sundae was kind of a punchline. Uh, not the biggest one I've ever eaten, but it was cool to do this today, you know. Um, I've done the Twin Peaks challenge, which is the biggest one they do. Uh, this Stratosphere burger is... Uh, the next biggest one, uh, and you don't get anything for free, just bragging rights uh, if you finish it, because not many people finish this one, but I haven't tried it before, so I thought I'd do that today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know me, that didn't really touch the sides, it didn't take me long to eat that, um, but I think I knew that in advance because I had this uh, incredible Sunday prepared for me, which is called the Hickerbocker Glory, um, which is kind of like an adult twist on a regular ice cream Sunday, right? So it's got all these crazy liqueurs in here, so I hope I don't walk out of here drunk, because I'm not much of a drinker. I could just stay here and eat like breakfast, lunch and dinner <laughs> every day. <laughs> Sorry, I was just enjoying my new, uh, Roasting a scented beard oil. It's gonna be out soon along with a couple of other flavors. I promise Pretty much just been walking around for the past week smelling like Gravy and meat, but I'm from Yorkshire, right? And you know what they say? No, the boys love gravy. Anyway, that was a fun challenge It's fun sometimes to take your foot off the gas a little, you know, and enjoy the food Which is kind of what the Chronicles of Beard is all about like getting out to restaurants and, and trying new stuff and um, I'm a big fan of Bugs and more in Harrogate. So if you're ever in North Yorkshire, uh, even if you're not, give it a try. Um, that was a Stratosphere burger, um, which, like I said in the video, you don't get anything for finishing that. You get like bragging rights and they'll post pictures of you on social media, stuff like that, because not many people finish it. But if you're up for a real challenge, their Twin Peaks burger challenge is mental. It's like 10 pounds. It's basically two of what you just saw me eat, right? And I'm still the only person to ever finish that. If you haven't watched that video yet, highly recommend it. I'll put up a link on screen and down in the description. But um, anyway, right now, I could use your help with something because I'm trying to plan something for the 200,000 subscribers special. The channel's already at, I think, 212,000 subscribers right now, so I'm way overdue. So I'm wondering 
if you want to see me eat 200 of something, or if you want to see another cheat day. I'm going to be honest, it's not going to be 200,000 calories. Yeah. That's not going to happen. But let me know in the comments below what you would like to see for that. Um, sorry it's taken so long for me to get around to. Uh, it's going to be a few days before the next video. Um, but as usual, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will catch you next time.